Dan, we're standing here after a 3 1 defeat for Whitby Town against Hillsoy, and you've uh, got to start yourself. What, what do you think of the game? Well, I think first half, we were by far the better side. Again, we're saying the same things week in, week out. We were dominating the first 20 minutes, half an hour. Um, their fans were on the backs, they were on each other's backs, they were arguing with, with each other, Hills on, and then we got an early goal, we looked well on top, and then they hit the post, and from there the game's changed, they've, they've, they've come on top of us, we've looked vulnerable when they're coming forwards, and I, we, we just can't put our finger on it at the moment, it's, it's just an absolute head scratcher, mate, it's, um, it's a big concern, to be honest, uh, it's often the want to try, and management, players, we, we, it's just... We can't keep giving away sloppy goals, uh, but at the same time, uh, the, the look's got to change for us as well. Their first goal, the lads had a shot, it's deflected off Luke and gone in. Their second goal, the lads had a shot, I've saved it, but then it's deflected in off Danny Mack. And the third goal, it's just a poor decision from us. We're just, it's, like I say, it's an absolute head scratcher at the moment. We're just, we're in a bit of a rut. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, I mean, the way that uh, Hillsong got the goal, it had that little bit of feel of Whitten last week where as the first half developed they sort of got into the game a little bit more but this time we were punished. Yeah, like I said, they, they came into the game because they had a shot from outside the box it hit the inside of the post and that got their tails up. Before that, the fans were on the back, they were on each other's back like I said earlier. I mean, we, we've got to capitalise on those situations. It's all right to stand near and say, oh well, they, they got the tails up and started coming at us but We've got to take advantage earlier of, of when we're on top of teams and we're not doing that at the moment. A one nil lead for us at the moment isn't good enough. We're not capitalising on it. We're not we're not carving out extra chances and going two, three ahead. We we play all the football in the world and then a team gets a chance and our heads go down and it, it, it's it's a struggle. Absolutely. And, uh, start for yourself. Um, it's getting quite a regular occurrence this stuff. <laughs> yeah, I mean, eighteen months without the without the game and then four or five in, in a couple of months. I mean, I enjoy playing, but not when we're playing like that, not when we're losing. Um, hopefully Ryan will be back fit for his next week. Um, yeah, I, I, I can't say I enjoy getting beat. Um, yeah. We move on to uh, record Athletic as well yeah. on Wednesday. It's a, it's a good chance to, you know, get a win on the board and go from there. It is, but we, we can't underestimate Red Car, they're a good side, they're on a good run at the moment. Um, local derby, the North Riding Cup is again a cup competition, it's a bit of a leveller. Um, so we're going to have to be on our game, it's not a chance, it's not a case of um, us turning up there and, and turning them over. We've got some good players, lads I've played with previously, and um, we need to be honest, we really do. Yeah, absolutely, because uh, we've seen in games like that before, we've seen this season. So I'll you know, the, the cup games, as you say, yeah. they are a massive leveller and they, they yeah. can throw up shots. Yeah, absolutely. Anyway, thank you very much, Dan.